Members of Manitoba's Legislative Assembly were sworn into office today at the Legislature building following the provincial election on October 3rd. 34 Manitoba NDP MLAs sworn in following their majority government win. Premier Wab Canoe fronting one of the more diverse governments in Manitoba's history, as not only did Canoe become the first First Nations Premier in Canada, but Uzoma Zaguer became the first black non binary deputy premier in history, and both Bernadette Smith and Nahani Fontaine are the first First Nations women to sit in cabinet. This is a very significant occasion, and it is the product of a lot of hard work from everyone who's going to take their oath today but also a lot of hard work from you. The NDP focusing heavily during the election to keep their promise of fixing our health care system. However, Canoe saying that resolving the MPI strike is his government's top priority right now. We inherited this mess from the PCs and now we're hard at work to clean it up. And when it comes to arbitration, we're big believers in 60-day binding arbitration, but we inherited a situation where the clock was already around the 50-day mark. And so we're committed to... I guess creating a bit of time here because we believe that the best place for these situations to get resolved is at the bargaining table. I, Heather Stephenson, do swear. Former Premier and now leader of the Manitoba PC Party, Heather Stephenson, officially being sworn in for the seventh time, continuing on as PCMLA of Tuxedo. She was joined by 21 other PCMLAs who are also officially being sworn into office. Our PC team is already working hard to hold uh, the Wab Canoe and this new government to account. And uh, with all the promises that they have made, uh, we will make sure that we will be his majesty's official opposition and hold them to account. The party which held power since 2016 is now looking for a leader as Stephenson announced she would not serve that role going forward. Abi Khan is a possibility to fill that vacant seat. Right now my priority is my son and the people of Fort Wayne. The PC's heavily campaigning on the issue of parental rights throughout the election. Khan was front and center of that conversation and says he will continue to fight for that. I believe uh, what I stood by in, my, in, in the ad that we did and that parents have a right to know and parents have a right to be at the table. In Winnipeg, Alex Carbacity City News.